So, you've bought this nice meal from the hub. Looks delicious, huh? And now that you've finished eating, what are you going to do with your waste? First, you can compost the food. A certain color trash cans where we know, and I think it's a funky yellow kind of gold trash can, where people will know those are compostable. That's the only thing that goes in there is what can be composted. What do I do with it? Yeah. When I don't. It's just a, another organic matter you add to soils or to flower beds. Uh, you got to be careful on how much you put in. I mean, that's why we like to incorporate in the existing soils. You kind of blend it. You don't want to just lay it out there. You add the composting bin, which is located now behind Longden Hall. I know at Longden Hall, with their trash, their uh, facility right there, they can just walk out the back door and dump it right in. You can put those carrots in there. But hold on. We have no meat, no dairy. Sorry, the sandwich has to go in the trash. When you put food or any other garbage in the trash, it has to get picked up by the custodians at Physical Plant. This crew picks up the trash and recycling at the Math and Science Building. They take it and it gets picked up and trucked to the Sycamore Ridge Landfill in Terre Haute, Indiana. The process, depending on where you live, is that garbage truck dumps that can. That garbage truck then either takes that garbage to a transfer station or directly brings it to the landfill. Mike is in charge of this landfill, so he gave us a tour of the region and answered a few of our questions. How do you keep the trash in the landfill and why doesn't it end up in the stream? We, we're able to, to control the waste by daily placement. Our machines put the waste down, compact it, and then at the end of the day we cover it. So the waste is covered every day. And what about the methane produced by the decomposition of the stuff in the landfill? We've partnered up with Boral Brick. We actually take the methane out of the landfill. Uh, it goes to Boral Brick and they burn it in their kiln to make bricks. And right now they are making 98% of their manufactured brick is energized by using methane from the landfill. But what about that bottle you drank out of? You know well enough to recycle it, but what happens to it then? Mm -hmm. uh, our staff and students and visitors recite, put the recycling into one of the 800 bins we have on campus. Uh, at that time, our custodial staff picks up the recycling and takes it outside the building to a, uh, one of the 16 recycling pickup points we have on campus. Uh, at that time, it's turned over to RHS. After the custodians put it away, it gets sent to the Republic Services Material Recycling Facility. So what we do here, we sort, we bail, and we ship. Basically. Antonio is the manager at the plant. We interviewed him to learn what goes on at the facility. How much, how much material do you guys process? 70 yeah. tons a day. Okay. Woo! That was 70 tons? Yeah. But we're small compared to Chicago or LA. They process like a thousand tons a day. Now you have to imagine like a everything like just like the law of economic supply and demand how much can I actually get and how much it will take me for how much money the process doesn't end with this facility as Antonio said the last part of the job is shipping different recycling mills will take the sorted bales and convert them into new products DePaul's composting program has only just begun with the installation of the composter taking place over the summer while the no meat and no dairy policy isn't exactly the happiest option for most students, everyone can still compost the rest of their food. Just keep an eye on the posters above the compost bins to let you know what you can and can't put inside. Everybody should recycle, and what you can't recycle will ultimately come to me. The, the number one thing I've told other groups in the past is, this isn't my garbage, this is your garbage. I'm just the steward to make sure it gets put away environmentally sound. As for the rest of our waste, about 70% of it heads to the landfill, and the other 30% goes to the recycling plant. While the landfill isn't a terrible place, being able to keep reusing the materials we have is more beneficial than letting our garbage sit in a mound. More people are getting into this recycling mind. Right? So the more, more people, I mean, a lot of companies want to go green and all that, so yeah. I guess that global awareness is getting into it. You know, into this mindset that we need to do something about it. One of the problems that Antonio mentioned to us about recycling is that it isn't always easy to find a market for some of the things that can be recycled. 
A key way to make that market is to buy more products that have already been recycled. There's a lot more about what happens with our waste than this video can show. We encourage you to visit the DePaul University Sustainability website, where more information about recycling and other issues can be found. Keep an eye out for more recycling videos, too.